So today let's solve this problem maximum duty of an array after applying operations from weekly contest 354. First let's understand this problem carefully. So in this you have given a zero indexed array nums and a non integer k and in one operations you can do following. You can choose the index that has that hasn't been chosen before. Suppose if you are choosing an index one you should not choose it again only once you can choose it and replace nums of 5 with an integer from range of we need to subtract k and we need to add k suppose if we take an example suppose we have element 4 and k is equals to 3 so either we can decrease by 3 times or increase by 3 times so it can be either 1 or it can be 7 and that and replace nums of 5 with any integer from that range Suppose you have 1 and 7, I can replace it with 2, 3, 4 until it reach 7. And the beauty of the array is the length of the longest subsequence consisting of equal elements. So what is the subsequence if we delete some of the elements in between? So the we can delete some of the elements which are not equal. And subsequence can, can't be continuous. And we have to return the maximum beauty of the array after applying the operations any number of times. Any number of times means in on single index you can apply only one. So maximum you can apply length of nums times. And here he had given an example of a subsequence of an array is a new array generated from the original array by deleting some elements without changing the order. So suppose Suppose you have given 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 without changing the order. 1, 3, 5 is a sub subsequence. 2, 3, 5 is a subsequence. 2, 4, 5 is a subsequence. These all are subsequence. But these are not subarrays. All subarrays are subsequence. But all subsequences are not subarrays. You can remember this thing. And if you see this example, uh, here you have given 4, 6, 1, 2, and k is equals to 2. And he has chosen an index 1 and replace it with 4. At index 1, at index 1, he has replaced it with 4 because 6 can be ranged from 4 to 8. And he has replaced with at index 3, he has replaced it with 4. And he is saying that at 0, 1, and 3, I am getting 3 times 4. So my answer is 4. So first let's understand like this. Uh, I will explain you. Suppose n is 5 n is 5 and we have range queries to approach this problem we need to understand the small example uh, suppose 1 to 4 I want to increase every element by 1 3 to 5 I want to increase every element by 1 2 to 4 and 3 to 4 what is the naive approach would be iterative what, what I will declare an uh, vector of some int and I will iterate from i to j and I will increment every element one time Every element what what would be my time complexity every time I am iterating number of queries into difference of j minus i it can be n n into q but this we can solve it in order of q times how oh. uh, suppose 1 and 4 he has given I will add 1 at index 1 and I will decrement 5 at index minus 5 huh? and 3 and 5 I will increment at 3 and I will decrement at 6 and 2 and 4 I will increment at 4 and I will decrement at 5 and suppose uh, now 3 and 4 I will increment at 3 and I will decrement at 5 if you add all this if you add all this we will get this subarray and if you all odd, uh, add this we will get this final subarray these are prefix sum prefix sum if you see this now here now we have 0, 1 and at index 2 also it is 1, at index 3 is 1, at index 4 is 1, at index 5 it is 0, right? At index 5 it is 0. So with this we can say that all elements from 1 to 4 has increased 1. If you see this, if you see this, uh, 0, 1, 1 and it here we are adding 1. So what it will happen? It will be 2 and 2 and 1 and 0. What it is saying at 1 to 4, 1 to 4, my elements 3 and 4 is coming 2 times and remaining all elements are coming 1 time. 
so i think most of you know this algorithm i did not remember exactly what the name of the algorithm is either we need to increment it uh, l v of l should be incremented by one time plus one or we need to decrement it right side in this way we can get range queries so if you see this if you see this now it four for four can reach to two to six right i will subtract four minus two and four plus two it can reach the range is from two to six at two i will increment one at seven i will decrement one right at four uh, suppose at six it can reach from four to eight four to eight in here i will increment one and i will decrement it minus nine and at one minus one to three and minus one is not there in the array so it will take minimum which is zero i will increment here and i will decrement it minus four this thing no zero to four if you take zero to four i will incrementing it zero and decrementing it minus five and i am adding all these elements i am adding all these elements i am i am doing prefix sum prefix sum if you do it prefix sum what we are getting it zero one two three four five six seven eight it index either 2 can be 3 times 3 can be 3 times 4 can be 3 times if you see this here i can get 2 here i can get 2 and uh, here i can't get 2 sorry here i can get 2 and here i can get 2 the answer is 3 in the same way 3 can be achieved from 3 possible ways 4 can be achieved in 4 possible ways and i think you have understood this question so let's Let's deep dive into the solution. So I have solved it. So I will copy paste. So it's simple. Ah, uh, I have a two into ten power five plus one. Why? Why? Now suppose if if you see this, total lengths are ten power five, and numbers of five can be ten power five, k can be ten power five. If both are ten power five, ten power five, and I should increment till ten power five. So what it will be? Two into ten power five. That's why I have taken as two into ten power five plus one as my answer, and at each index I am subtracting k and I am incrementing it k. If a is less than zero, suppose if you take this example, if a is less than zero, I have at zero I am incrementing one, at zero I am incrementing one, or else at a index I am incrementing one, and at b plus one index I am decrementing it. I am decrementing. Then I am adding prefix sum. It's like every element is added prefix sum. and i am calculating the max from this and we are returning the max so what will be the time complexity over here it will be directly order of n and the space would be same order of n i think you have understood this question and thank you for watching